Hey guys, when I'm not making videos and stuff, I like eating food. So, uh, today I'm going to teach you how to make a double cheeseburger. Let's go. Alright then, let's get started. If you have some burger patties that you have in the fridge, then you can... And then you can cook those. But if you want to make them, you can also make them. These ones were pre-made. And as you can see, I am flipping them over for the first time because I wanted to see how to check how cooked they are. And I did a pretty good job, as you can see. I literally just did that because, you know, magical hand wave. Now time to check in on them. They look really good, and I flip them over again, as you can see. I'm going to do this multiple times. You can put any seasonings on these. The Mr. Desperate Double Cheeseburger. I'm just doing it like this. And look at me. I'm look so happy right there and then. I did a good job. I forgot to film flipping this time, but yeah, we flipped them. So now um, I think I'm going to go get the cheese and then I'm going to put it on and then we're going to see how it's going to go. They're probably going to be really good though. So yeah, don't forget to get your cheese. I'm using American cheese in this case. So yeah, got the cheese. Now let's go. As you can see, I got the cheese, I got American cheese, but I was also struggling to record this at the same time because it's one hand and also me trying to cook. But there was something happening right there, and I had no idea what the heck was even happening. I was really confused. Eventually, it did die down, but I think I just had to clean up the grill more. And I just had that part to help heat it up. I flipped them over again. Oh, no, I, as I was going to put it on the more cooked side so it can get the cheese cooked faster. And I was still worried about the little fire thing, but like I said, it, it did go down and everything was fine. So yeah, as you can see me getting the cheese right out of the bag and then showing it in front of the camera to show just how cheesy the cheese is. I'm using American cheese, like I said, and um, you can like the American cheese is what you need for this burger to make it like this because, you know, American cheese because it's not just a Mr. Desperate Double Cheeseburger. It is the Mr. Desperate Double Cheeseburger. With, it's fun. It's good. And it's delicious. I just basically made an ad right there. I don't know what to say. And now we wait. Okay, dog. And now we wait as it sizzles on there. I think that one's all ready. So let's go get it. Oh, I'll clean that up. Boop. And now this one. And now safely shut off the grill. Bam, bam. And I have some stuff to clean up later. But, yep. Let's go inside and make the burger. Now, here I am. Hi. And now I'm going to quickly try to make the cheeseburger for you guys as soon. Because it's a good thing there was one bun left because I only need one bun because this is a double cheeseburger. I put the bun down and I grab the first patty and I put it in. And I put some ketchup on there. As you can see, the bottle is a little empty, but I still managed to get some on there. And I sprinkle some salt into my hand and then dash it on there for the first patty. Now, you don't really have to do what I did specifically, but you can do it like that. And then I do it a second time on the other patty, doing the same exact thing to so I can get more flavor out of it. It's, it's Instead of sprinkling it in my hand, I did it like that. And I put the bun on top, and there we go. Voila. You can see how excited I am, too. I think I said something. And when you're done making it, you get to eat this. Mr. D's Double Cheeseburger. You gotta love it. I really do just scarf into this cheeseburger. Now, it is pretty good. I did eat the whole thing, but I'm not putting the full eating as a video. I just... The burger was good. Like and subscribe if you guys want to see, see me cook more stuff. Or maybe bake a cake. Alright? Bye.